compute 99 to the power 5. Now basically in simple man's term you can calculate this as 99 into 99 into 99 into 99 into 99 right but we can use the binomial theorem to our advantage to calculate this quickly and correctly now how do we use it we know binomial theorem is meant for two but this is only a single number but what stops us from writing 99 as 100 minus 1 to the power 5 right so then this becomes something like a minus b to the power 5 now since you would have understood till now the method used in the binomial theorem I'm not getting into the details but this can be written as 5 c 0 100 to the power 5 plus 5 c 1 100 to the power 4 okay minus 1 to the power 1 now why did I take this power as minus 1 we saw the binomial theorem earlier in the context of a plus b right but 100 minus 1 can also be written as 100 plus minus 1 or in other words b is equal to minus 1 right plus 5c2 100 to the power 3 we are reducing the value of 100 or the power of 100 every time by 1 1 reduced here 1 reduced here and increasing the power of b which is minus 1 by 1 minus 1 to the power 2 by 1 every time so here it was 0 here it is 1 here it is 2 plus 5c3 100 to the power 2 minus 1 to the power 3 plus 5c4 100 to the power 1 minus 1 to the power 4 plus 5c5 so now we've reached a situation where we are in c n right then basically 100 to the power 0 minus 1 raised to the power 5 right shall we solve this 5c0 is basically 1 100 to the power 5 100 so to the power 5 means add as many zeros into 5 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 pair 2 pair 3 pairs 4 pairs 5 pairs plus 5c1 5c1 is basically equal to 5 into 100 to the power 4 1 2 3 4 into minus 1 to the power 1 is going to be minus 1 right or effectively we can just remove this minus 1 from here and we can make this sign as minus right then plus we've reached the third one here let me just remove this this is no longer relevant 5c2 now 5c2 can be written as what factorial 5 upon factorial 2 factorial 5 minus 2 into 100 cube 1 2 3 into minus 1 square minus 1 square is 1 so we are not getting into it plus 5c3 again this can be written as factorial 5 factorial 3 5 minus 3 2 factorial 2 100 square into 100 square minus 1 to the power 3 is again minus 1 so we change the sign here plus 5c4 5c4 is again equal to 5 into 100 into minus 1 to the power 4 is what 1 plus again 5c5 is equal to 1 1 into 100 to the power 0 again is equal to 1 into minus 1 to the power 5 
minus 1 or you can just change the sign here to minus right so let's see now what do we get a little bit complicated right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 minus 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 plus the value of this will be what 5 into 4 is 20 into factorial 3 this knocks off this to 10 10 into this number or 10 minus this and this is same so effectively again 10 10 into 10,000 okay plus 500 minus 1 right now comes the difficult task of adding this so effectively what you can do is you can add up all the plus sign right so which is 1 2 and 3 and add up all the negative signs which is 1 2 and 3 right so as you do it 1 2 3 4 5 1 okay this is what you get on the negative number and on the positive ones what will you get right so this is what you get as you add the positive ones this is what you get as you do the negative ones So as you do the subtraction, what do you get? You will get 499 in the end. Okay, one, two, two zeros. Then 10 minus one gives you nine. Then you get nine, nine for these two. Okay, and you get a four here and nine. 9 so let's do the subtraction also very quickly 1 double 0 1 1 2 3 4 500 10 minus 9 is 9, 9 minus 0, 9, 4 minus 0, 4, 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 0 is 9, 10 minus 0 minus 0 is actually 0, okay, and uh, 100 minus 5 is 95, so 950, double 9, double 0, 4, double 9, this is the answer.